Well, it's time for makeup for motion picture, I think. Either that or HD production. One or the other. Good morning, shun shiners and possibly shun shaders. You guys look at it this way and tell me what do you think? Do you think that's a good match if you look at it straight on? Yeah. All right. Oh. I'm gonna go with it. Oh, thanks, Chair. What balance now? I want to say that all of the green and gold in here is a really nice reflection onto your face. Okay, so when you start a foundation, it does not matter where you start, at the top or the bottom or the eyes or whatever. Um, I like to kind of do things in the same order. I just naturally kind of go from top to bottom. But I do that in a way so that I get into the habit of it. All right, so if you do it the same way all the time, you'll kind of come into a habit of it and it'll start to take you a little less time. You guys, if you want to, always feel free to get up and move about the room, all right? If you want to get a better look, please feel free to get up, walk around. And then that's where your shading is going to go. I'm laying it up pretty thick. Now, with the makeup, you're not going to see this big giant line. It's going to be a lot more subtle. But I want you guys to see where this placement goes. All right? So for today, guys, let's have that shading and highlighting be like a little bit over the top, okay? So we can see it. After today, and you get the okay, you can do whatever you want, however light you want it, okay? Just make sure you do it. Put the powder on. Meaning if it's creasing, the creases first and then powder. Does that make sense to anybody? So yeah, so sometimes like the powder look up or the, the cream foundation can settle, especially like around the eye area. So you want to make sure that that's nice and smooth before you put the powder there. Otherwise, it'll set it like that. Okay. So now that we have powder on, we can do other things like blush. <laughs> um, which for a guy I would call, I would call this, um, sun kiss, yes, uh, alright, so the blush goes here guys, over the shading and highlighting, we're good, right in the middle, good, and that's gonna kind of, look at that composition, wow, right, that's the placement of, Joe say hi, of a blush, okay, I, when I do a guy's makeup, I try to make him look like a guy. And I want him to look like he's you know, a girl, unless that's the character. I do a lot of guys before things like that. They don't want to look like they're wearing makeup. So you have to learn how to put on makeup without it looking like there's a lot of makeup on it. Unlike this, it looks like a lot of makeup. All right, so we did the foundation, shading, highlighting, powder, blush. What else could I do? Eyeliner. Eyeliner. And after washing off the makeup that was put on me in class when I was the model for how to put makeup on a guy, it is time to put makeup on me again. So for the first time ever, I'm wearing makeup twice in one day. And uh, the final product. Going into this class, I was actually not too thrilled, but it is, in a weird way, kind of fun. Um, not saying I'm going to be a makeup artist or anything, but I may actually um, enjoy this class. Today we did uh, the natural look, or standard makeup. Uh, I think on Wednesday we're going to start getting into fake facial hair, maybe bald caps and um, a bunch of fun stuff. In a couple weeks we're actually going to do like fantasy makeup. So things will uh, be getting 
much more fun in uh, the coming weeks. And where the hell did I park? When I wasn't uh, doing my laundry, I was editing about the past uh, week and a half, two weeks worth of vlogs. That was my entire afternoon and evening. I took some time during there to actually uh, wash my dishes and make some pasta for dinner, but nothing really interesting happened. And uh, now I'm going to bed at a mildly reasonable time. It is, well, basically one o'clock. It's 12.58. Um, good night, whoever's watching this. See you tomorrow. Well, I won't see you, but you will see me. If you enjoy watching my vlogs, feel free to hit that subscribe button and possibly share it with a friend. Awkward cut to outro. I do this cut to outro way too often with the light going off and such. There's a vlog on the web featuring Ben Stock that he shoots every day as he walks and talks. If you're Bigfoot in the woods or producers in LA, you should stop all your shit and watch Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Has nothing to do with Florida, but it's great. If you can't wait, don't get irate. Just stay in your sheet, cause it's Sunshine Shade.